My name is Mark Karadimos and this is MathGuide.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to expand and contract logarithmic expressions. Uh, if you'll take a look at the first two problems that I have laid out here, these problems are all compact. You notice everything's tightly written in one little compact form. Uh, what we're going to do for the first two then is expand these. Now uh, this is kind of an important property for exponents. It's something that's used later when solving uh, e e equations containing uh, exponents. All right, so these are skills that are going to be used within those situations. All right, so uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you'll notice that I have a log base 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to entertain answers that are going to have log base 2 in them. All right, and in order to do this, uh, we're going to separate this in a whole bunch of little pieces here. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room. So uh, I'm going to uh, make sure I give myself room. So let's put the log all the way over here. So I'm going to put log base 2 over here. All right, now in order to separate this into a variety of, uh, of different logs uh, and log expressions, you just kind of look at the numerator and notice that all of these are in the numerator. There's an expression that has a 3, x squared, and a y to the fourth. Each one of those is going to get its own logarithm. So I'm going to give each log base 2 of those expressions. Now you'll notice that I'm not using exponents. So I'm going to put log uh, y Oop, forgot the base 2. Okay, so I need to put the base 2 in there. Uh, okay, so first of all, since it's in the numerator, all of those terms, the bases of those terms, are going to be added together. So I'm going to put an addition sign separating them. Now remember, uh, there's a property that if you have an exponent, that exponent, instead of me writing it there, you write it out in front of the exponent, uh, in front of the log. So I'm going to put the 2 right in front of the logarithm there. Just like if I had the y to the fourth, I'm going to put the 4 or the power in front of the log. All right, but you'll notice that I still have two more, right? I have the log base 2 of 4. I got log base 2 of z. Okay, uh, and again, instead of writing the exponent on that z, I'm going to write that in front. So that's a 5 right there. Now the only thing different about these, because those were in the denominator, because they're in the denominator, they get minuses in front. And that's all there is to it. Okay, we are done. And we are done expanding this. Okay, so we're done expanding this tightly woven answer. So that's problem number one. I'll put one here so we know that that's problem number one solution. Now I thought I could fit this under here for number two, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to put the two, the solution here. I guess, you know, they're kind of long. So I need a lot of room. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. So anything that's in the numerator will go out in front. So I'm going to put, uh, and each one of those is going to get its own log. So I'm going to put log base 4 of negative 10. I'm put log base 4 of d. Remember the power is going to go out in front. Log base 4 of e. The 7 is going to go out in front. I'm going to put log base 4 of g. 9 is going to go out in front. I'm going to put a log base 4 of 3. I'm also going to put a log base 4 of f. Okay, so I wrote them all in front. Remember, uh, for D, we had a power 4. The 4 goes in front. If you're wondering why that power rule works, just see mathguide.com. We've got a whole lesson on that. It, it really, in the text version, it makes more sense uh, why that works. Remember, uh, the power 7 goes out in front. The G had a 9. The 9 goes out in front. These had 1s, so I could put a 1 out in front. Uh, you know, for the coefficient, but you don't have to for powers of 1 there. All right, uh, again now for the 3 and the F, since they were in the denominator, you put minuses there. The other guys were in the numerator, so you put pluses in between. 
Okay, now it's kind of written out there, and I know it's kind of jammed together there, uh, but uh, keep an eye on how many pluses there are, there sh or, or how many terms there are, I should say. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six terms. So let's see, I've got one. Oh, this is all the first term. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that makes sense, right? It's all matching. I have all those. Sometimes, you know, you can get lost with some of these. Like here, I got one, two, three, four, five. There are five terms. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, the number of terms is matching. Okay, seems like everything is working. All right, now let's go back to those... Uh, to our problems. We have problems three and four, which I'd like to do. Now, since we're crunching these down, I shouldn't need much space. Since all of these are log base five, I could write one expression with a log base five. Anything that's positive will go into the numerator. Let's see, I got C. Now, remember, that's that three goes in f as an exponent. That's really C cubed. Uh, let's see, mm, negative, that's going to go in the denominator. So d squared is going in the denominator. And, oh, a positive. Okay, so that, remember, that's an exponent. That goes, 4 is going to be an exponent. And that's going to be a, in the uh, numerator, e plus 1, but I've got that 4. And there you go. There's the answer for number 3. Okay. All right, let's get to number 4. And these are kind of quick um, when you're doing these problems, these expansion contraction problems. Okay, so now the answer for this problem, let's see, log base 8. All right, let's see, what goes in the numerator? Uh, let's see, x to the 15th, big uh, exponent there. Uh, let's see, uh, y to the 9th. Let's see, z squared's got a negative going in the denominator. Uh, oh yeah, an a to the seventh. It's in the denominator because of the negative sign that's right there. And there you go. So that's uh, four examples. Two were expansion, two were contraction. Okay, so that's how it works. Make sure you go back to mapguide.com, check all our interactive quizzes our lessons and other videos.